Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have a unboxing to do with you. I am so excited about this little deck here. I saw it at a friend's house and it was just so friggin' cute. I didn't see the deck because she hadn't opened it yet. I just saw the box. And it's the Enchanted Blossoms deck by Carla Morrow. I had never heard of her before. Um, never seen this, this card deck, but I was taken by it and I'll show you why. Look at the picture. It's hard to see because of the glare of the plastic, but see it? It's a dragon butterfly. I mean, look at them. Aren't they adorable? Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. So the back is the back here says palm sized dragons with butterfly wings, a light on a bouquet of wisdom in this charming oracle deck. Drawing on memories of growing up in her family's flower shop and inspired by the language of flowers, fantasy artist Carla Morrow combines the ornate feel of Victorian era illustration with her exquisite wing creations to deliver a whimsical deck full of insight and wonder. There are messages in the flowers. They go beyond words to convey hope, love, beauty, comfort, encouragement, and more. The enchanted blossoms and their unique companions are ready to lift your spirits and help you discover the delights and positivity in your day-to-day -day life. The 44 cards and the 108 page guidebook can be useful for daily guidance, contemplation and inspiration. What, me what messages do they hold for you? These cards look so adorable. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love this kind of stuff. <laughs> I really don't need another deck, but you know what? I had a little bit, bit of birthday money so i got a couple more decks and you know if you guys have any ideas of decks you'd like to see me um not necessarily on box just show because i have a lot of decks i have quite a large collection and if i have them i'd be glad to show them just let me know let me know in the comments and i will make a video if i happen to have that deck or maybe it's a deck if you give me an idea that I might actually want that I don't have yet. Okay, so anyway, I got this deck at Magic Planet. The regular price on it says $25.95. I it was discounted plus I there was an actual discount because they always have a discount on their page. And if you get up to $50 worth of stuff, you get free shipping. You know what? It's worth it. So I get a lot of my decks through them now. And they have other stuff too. They have crystals and altar cloths and statues and candles. I mean, pretty much anything you'd need, even sage bundles, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so this is a blue angel deck. So blue angel decks are always awesome. So I'm expecting perfection here. So that's the book. It's not a very thick book, which is good. I'll be able to read from a couple of the cards for that. And the inside of the box is gold. It looks brown, but it's not. It's like a gold, a golden color in there, which is kind of pretty. It's actually very pretty. Very Victorian. Okay. So these are the cards. Um, they are actually smaller than the regular Blue Angel ones I would get. Look how cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the quality is. As, as usual, Blue Angel has excellent quality cards. To me, they're, they have a, whatever the coating is, it just feels so smooth. It's very nice. I should ask my husband. He's in printing. He'd probably know exactly what it is. So, never thought to do that. All right. So, here we go. Look how cute. Look how cute. Oh, I love it. So, Abundance, Chrysanthemum, Pop and Jay. I didn't know the Chrysanthemum was called Pop and Jay as well. Huh. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe Pop and Jay is the name of the dragon butterfly. I think that's what it is. Okay. All right. Affection, Rose, Riv Riverdens Blue. Look how cute. I'm hoping the lighting is okay. From what I can see, it looks good, but you know. Ambition, Hollyhock, Painted Lady. So maybe that is another name of the flower. Now I'm getting a little confused. Well, they can't be, because Rose and Reverdens Blue 
would that that would be a yellow rose or a peace rose. Okay, whatever. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Look how cute. Appreciation. Sunflower. Diana Fritillary. Aspiration. Mountain Pink. Large Orange Sulfur. Yeah, I'm going to have to look up that you know what I'm gonna do that real quick just to try to figure out what is it the color that we're dealing with here or what's going on let me see if I can if I can because that's kind of annoying me a little bit here um to do memory let's see only give me a second here um let me see Okay, oh, I see what it is. It's the butterfly itself. So these are, these of course are real butterflies, but she's, she's added the dragon effect to them. So that's what it is. It's the name of the actual butterfly. Okay, I don't know why that didn't dawn on me, but <laughs> alrighty, <laughs> now we know. So Aspiration Mountain Pink Large Orange Sulfur. How beautiful, Oh. I love it. You know, if I saw a real butterfly like this, I think I'd run away from it. <laughs> I went for a walk yesterday with my friend and a snake crossed our path. She didn't really cross or she or he or whatever it was. It kind of like skittered to the side. And it was, I'm not super afraid of them. They do startle me. And it it skittered away and I, I ran, I did the squeal thing and I ran off like, I don't even know how to describe my hands were kind of up in the air. I looked so silly. It was so funny. My friend's cracking up laughing. But this was a good sized snake. It had to have been probably four or five feet long. I'm like, okay. I'm, I don't mind them when they're little, but when they're that big, they can stay away. <laughs> so if I saw this, I think I would run away as well. All right. Beauty. Orchid, yellow tiger, swallowtail. Beautiful. So pretty. I love orchids. I have one coming in right now been able to keep it alive for like three years now shockingly okay daffodil violet copper god so pretty oh I love these these cards are beautiful very well done bravery oak leaves purple hair streak now they remind me of the old I guess it would be Victorian where they do the flower print is it flower prints I think so it, it's it's got that same vibe to it it's they're just really really pretty now I'm usually not one for borders but borders fit perfectly on these cards it looks beautiful with the border compassion did I say the word to that one Bra no I didn't bravery I'm getting all distracted here okay compassion elder and large blue oh my god so cute that one has to be one of my favorites okay confidence hapitica baltimore checker spot look how cute look at the face oh i love it this is such a cute jack oh my god i'm so glad that uh, i saw it at her house courage mullen purple shot copper Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Dignity. Dahlia Orion. Wow, that's gorgeous. Dahlias are my mom's favorite flowers. At least they used to be. I think now it's more roses. Look how beautiful. The uh you know what? These cards these cards would make fantastic tattoos. I they really would. I, I do not have tattoos. I would love to get a tattoo someday. But I'm always afraid I'm going to change my mind if I'm going to like it. I would like something like this. I think something like this would make an excellent tattoo. Huh. Dreams. Royal Fern. Large Grass Yellow. Oh, she's so regal. Look at her. So cute. Elegance. Lily. Archduke. Endurance, Cactus, Pipe Vine, Swallowtail. Oh my God, I love these. I am truly enchanted. Here we go. Faith, 
passion flower, gulf fritil, fritiller, fritillary, fritillary. Okay, that's what it is. Gulf fritillary. Beautiful. Friendship, freesia, green vein sh charaxis. Green vein charaxis, how pretty. Generosity, Honeysuckle, White Admiral. Grace, Yellow Jasmine, Two-Tailed Pasha. Oh, so pretty. I love this. Gratitude, Bluebell, Brimstone. That, that, um... Butterfly is called a brimstone? <laughs> it doesn't look anything like brimstone to me. Maybe it smells funny. Happiness. Coreopsis. Common buckeye. Hope. Hawthorne. Black veined white. Oh my god, I love these. These are so freaking cute. Oh. These are going to go well with the deck I just did, the Lemuria Star Child Oracle, because they have that same vibe, that same very gentle, sweet, innocent kind of feel to it. Oh, look, innocence. Innocent. <laughs> Daisy Peacock. I swear I didn't see the word. <laughs> ah, so funny when stuff lines up like that. Inspiration. Lupine. Goatweed. Leap, leaf wing. Oh, so cute. That's what those are called. My neighbor down the road has a bunch of these on their grass. And I'm like, those are cool. That's what they're called. Lupine. All right. Joy. Gerber Daisy Pearl Imperial. I love Gerber Daisies. I had them in my wedding bouquet and in my wedding fl um, flowers on the table. So pretty. Love. Lilac. Vane J. We have a bunch of lilacs out right now. They smell so beautiful. Luck, Bells of Ireland, Bicolor Commodore. Oh, I just, I just think these are just stunning, honestly. Magnificent, Bird of Paradise, Common Mother of Pearl. I don't think there's any com anything common about that little dragon butterfly there at all. Memory, Forget Me Not. I love forget-me-nots. New Zealand Red Admiral. So beautiful. The colors are just very beautifully done. I mean, I don't know if these would be... I don't think they're watercolors. I don't know. They could be. The artist is amazing, honestly. Passion. Bougainvillea Octa, Octaeus Sortail. Octaeus, Octaeus Sortail. You know, they put fancy words in here, you know, and I try to read them, but I'm telling you, I wonder if they're coming out right. Patience. White Monte Casino. Yellow Pansy. So cute. It does look like a pansy, doesn't it? <laughs> Peace. Olive. Southern. Comma. I'm trying to figure out what the face is doing in this one. Looking to the side, that's what it's doing. Persistence, euphoria, euphorbia, African swallowtail. Pride, amaryllis, gaudy commodore. It's sure not gaudy, it's gorgeous. Prosperity, allium. Brazilian Swallowtail. I have Allium growing. Protection. Eucalyptus Monarch. Tip of the common monarch. <laughs> Serenity. Lavender. Proven provincial fr Fertillery. I have never heard that word before. i got to look that word up and see what that actually means. Sincerity. Chervil. Lesser Purple Emperor. So pretty. 
Spirituality, Cherry Blossom, Chinese Peacock. Strength, Fennel, Black Swallowtail. I love Fennel. Thoughtfulness, Cowslip, Duke of Burgundy. Duke of Burgundy, what a cute name. Look at the face. Oh, adorable. Tranquility, Stone Crop, Apollo. Apollo, oh, I love that. Truth, Bittersweet, Nightshade, Morning Cloak. Wisdom, Purple Iris, Common Map. Okay, so let's see. We will pick, um, we like the daisy. We'll do innocence and we'll do courage. How's that? They are not um, numbered, but they are in alphabetical order, which is easy to do. And it's only one page really, so. It's, it'll be quick. So, Innocence, Daisy, uh, Flower is Daisy, Bella is Prinus, and Butterfly is Peacock, Inakis Eo. The playful and childlike Daisy has been associated with children and motherhood for generations. Bouquets of Daisies have been gifted to new mothers since the Norse times, with Daisies being the sacred flower of Freya, a goddess of fertility and love. The word Daisy is an evolution of day Day's eyes, an apt description for this flower that closes at night and reopens in the sun. It does that? Huh, I don't, I don't think I've ever noticed that. A plethora of sayings have sprung up around, have sprung up regarding daisies. Looking as fresh as a daisy means you had a good night's sleep. Oopsie daisy and other derivatives have evolved from, from up a daisy, a term that can be traced to the 1700s. The term was used to coax young children up after a fall, further tying the flower to innocence. This card asks you to move through life with eyes wide in innocence and wonder. Give up thinking you give up thinking you know everything and experience life like it's your first time through. Spend a day not noticing the unconstructive things people do or the negativity in the world. Rather, make a conscious choice to see nothing but the wonderful things people do and all the beauty of the world. Marvel at the thousands of small miracles around you every day. Spend time with children so you can remember how the world looks through their eyes. You will discover so many wondrous moments around you when you watch for them. How can I add a childlike innocence to my daily life? Uh, you know what? We could all use a little bit of that. Turn everything off. TVs, radios, phones, and just spend a day just looking at the beauty of the world. You know, we kind of really do need that. There's just so much negativity in the world. There's so many different forms, and sometimes you just need a break. Let's see. What do we got here? Courage. That's back. Courage. I like this. I like this style of writing too. It's simple to the point and um, makes sense. Okay. Flower is mullen or ves verbascum. Butterfly, purple shot copper. Lycina alkifron. With, with its tall flowering stalks, mullen has been used in folk medicines for centuries. The dried stems were dipped into wax and used as torches and candle wicks. They were used by witches and against them, depending on the myth. The mullen plant was prized for its astringent properties and had been, has been used as a cough remedy. It is still used as a tea or ointment, carrying a little bit of the plant in one's pocket is said to help you be more courageous. It is time to strengthen your heart, mind, and your resolve to continue in the face of pain, grief, or anything else you might be facing. When you find the nerve to face a challenge, you will become stronger, wiser, and more capable. Every step you take into the unknown is a courageous one, but some will require more gumption than others. Courage is the seed of progress, so muster the daring to move forward in your life by stepping boldly towards your dreams and desires. How do I show courage every day? I love that. 
Mullen, huh? I don't know if I've ever seen Mullen. It doesn't look familiar to me at all. So maybe they don't have it around here. I don't know. Anyway, it's a beautiful um, deck. I, I love it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I love most of my decks, but this one just seems just very... I don't know. It's number one. It's very beautiful, but it's just so, oh, it's just so magical. <laughs> I mean, it's dragon butterflies. How can it not be? It's, it's a great deck. You know, uh, like I said, go on magic. You can get it on Amazon too, I believe, but if you go on magic planet, they, they do have a discount. I think the new code word now is flash and you get 15% off. And if you, like I said, if you do 50, uh, $50 worth of whatever. It doesn't have to be decks. It could be anything. You get free shipping. So anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. And I am so happy that I was able to show, um, showcase this deck for you. And I hope that you have a fantastic day wherever you are. Take good care of yourselves and blessings to everyone.